Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So, Daniel Jones, I was not a fan of this dude coming out of college, bro. I thought that Dwayne Haskins was by far the better prospect as far as quarterbacks. And when the Giants picked Daniel Jones over Dwayne Haskins, you know, it was like, it was like, eh, I mean, all right, that's your guy. But why did y'all do with the number four pick? Why didn't you just wait until your second first round pick and pick up Daniel Jones? But comes to find out, the Redskins really wanted Daniel Jones, so it all works out anyway. But when you look at Daniel Jones' stats after his rookie season, the dude put up some good numbers. I can't even lie to y'all, the dude put up some good numbers. So I actually got curious and I wanted to watch some film to actually see how good this dude was. And based off the film, this dude actually is a better quarterback than I thought he was. And I'm about to show y'all everything I saw right now. So one of the things I noticed about Daniel Jones is that he is pretty accurate to be a rookie, man. The dude is really efficient with these short underneath routes as you see him complete the pass with the drag route. Right here, he gets a snap in the backfield. Perfect slant pass. He's pretty much on the money with these slants all the time. And he's really efficient with these curl routes, bro. I don't know if this is something he's been practicing since backyard days, but this dude is very efficient with these curl routes, bro. Now, when it comes to throwing a deep ball, this dude, Daniel Jones, can still effectively throw that curl out, bro. And his accuracy in general when it comes to a deep ball is pretty good, man. Right here, he throws the ball right over trash Xavier Rose. If you know, you know, man. Right here, he gets the ball, he steps back, and he just throws the ball right into between two defenders. Just a perfect dime and just perfect timing by Daniel Jones. But... He can't be perfect all the time. Sometimes he does mess up, man. Like he overthrows this dude by a little bit of inches, man. Right here, he throws the ball too high to Sterling Shepard. He couldn't get his feet in. And these are some things that Daniel Jones needs to work on because sometimes when you throw the ball too high or when you're throwing the ball too low or just out of reach, it can just turn into an interception just like it did on this play right here. Now, another thing that Daniel Jones brings to the table is mobility, man. Right here, dude's trying to sack him. He makes two guys miss, and he keeps on going. He picks up the first down, even though I don't like the way he dove with his head. Right here, he does the play action, and, you know, they give him all this green. Nobody's really open, so he just takes it all for himself, and he gets all the yards he can get. And since he's mobile, you can even get away with doing some read options from time to time, but you can't keep doing them because it's like, come on, man. He's not really that type of quarterback. But I would like to see Daniel Jones do a better job at protecting himself and the ball because he just can't be taking that hit he just took. Right here, he scrambles out to the right, you know, really has no plan with the ball. He gets hit and he fumbles, you feel me? So he just got to do a better job at that. Now, another thing that Daniel Jones is pretty good at is throwing under pressure. He needs to get a little bit better, but he's pretty solid for now. Right here, he gets the ball off just in time before taking the hit. Even though the pass is a little bit high, it was still a pretty good pass. Right here, he's getting chased off the edge. He rolls over, throws the ball deep, and he makes a big play by being able to throw under pressure. And right here, he gets the ball off with the line all in his face. It's a complete pass to move the chains. But he needs to work on making sure that he does not throw the ball forcing it under pressure because right there that man was not really open it was a guy lurking over top the whole play and then even on this play he gets the snap he steps back in the pocket and just throws the ball into triple coverage bro that should have been picked up but as long as he stops forcing the pass under pressure he's only going to get better as the years go on now, one more thing that I feel like Daniel Jones was good at during his rookie season was taking advantage of corners being out of position, and I think he was pretty good with ball placement. Right here, he steps back in the pocket, throws the ball to the left, the wide receiver is in a better position than the corner, and it results in a touchdown. One more time, even though the ball was not caught, that was a perfect pass to the tight end in the back of the end zone. But some things that I feel like Daniel Jones needs to work on is his throw on the run accuracy because... Right there, the ball was thrown behind the receiver. It wasn't catchable. Right here, he rolls out the pocket. He throws the ball cross body. It's too low. It's dropped. And even when Daniel Jones is able to roll out the pocket and actually throw the ball and complete the pass, sometimes it's just a little bit harder to catch than it should be. Also, he needs to work on being able to, you know, actually not fumble in the pocket because he be getting beat up in the pocket. They just be taking what they need from him, which is the ball, bro. Right here, just simple strip sack. You got to do better, man. I know you offensive line ain't the best, but you got to have better pocket awareness, man. Like, you can't be letting this happen. And one more thing that he needs to improve on is forcing passes because that could have easily been an interception. 
right here. He forces a pass that was actually late and it ended up being an interception. And then one more time, another late pass and it's intercepted. Even though the snow was there, it was intercepted. You feel me? So to sum everything up, Daniel Jones definitely had a solid rookie season and they definitely drafted the right guy for their team. Not saying Dwayne Haskins is bad because trust me, if Dwayne Haskins had all the preparation that Daniel Jones had, I think that Dwayne Haskins could give Daniel Jones a run for his money. But this video ain't about Dwayne Haskins. This video is about Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones, the dude solid. He definitely has a future in the league. I can't say he's going to be a franchise quarterback because who knows? Maybe he falls off in the next few years. But if he profess his craft and work on his weaknesses, I think he definitely can be here to stay with the New York Giants, man. But the Giants got to do their part. They got to make sure the coaching staff is right for Daniel Jones. They got to make sure that they keep bringing in talent. Get him another wide receiver because some of those wide outs was dropping passes that was definitely catchable when I was watching film. On top of that, Sterling Shepard is always hurt, bruh. You can't rely on that man. Slayton is not enough. Even though he's promising, he is not enough. And Elvin Ingram even ain't enough. You feel me? Give him another wide out. Perfect. I mean, work on that defense and work on the O-line. He already got Saquon in the backfield. How is this man going to feel? You feel me? So that's where I'm at with this Daniel Jones stuff. I feel bad for calling Daniel Jones, you know, a little bit iffy, but he's definitely solid. You feel me? So let me know what y'all think in the comment section about Daniel Jones. And make sure you check out my Josh Jacobs video that I posted a few days ago. It's a film analysis as well. And let me know how I did. Like, comment, subscribe, and I got some more content coming soon.